everybody, I am Chelsea Smith and this is Alex Mutchler. Hey guys. As you can see, the Logan Paul parody of Help Me Help You called Get A New Do was released yesterday. Like Logan Paul, thank you for this opportunity for us to roast you because like we will someday be bigger. Yeah, than right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, than Logan Paul Man. or than us? Uh, like will we get one more follower? We'll get like five more followers. Like, I don't necessarily want to have 50, or 15 million followers. Like, so Logan Paul's thing is like, hey, everybody look at me, buy my merch, right. all that stuff. My goal is to like be in the point where I can say, hey guys, like I've utilized this system to make a lot of money and I actually legitimately want to help like a lot of people make it to where they don't have to go to a job they hate. They don't have to like put their kids in a crappy daycare. So that would be more my goal. And I, I know that I'm not gonna help 15 million people do that. Yeah. It'd probably be more like start small scale and work. Like I've heard Logan Paul even say, like now that I'm in this place of great responsibility, yeah. I have the opportunity to like make these goals and these, you know, values that I have ring true to a lot more people. Yeah. Like, and I've heard that, I've heard <clears throat> him say this, this stuff though, in interviews where he's not doing his own content, like in his own content, you just see him be this bro chacho guy, yeah. but like, that's actually not, he actually is really good at editing, really good at photo. Like he's good at everything. And so, but also he's a good person. And I think that's why he's beat. He isn't successful in the first place, but like he, he wants to say like, you, you hear him talk about like the equality of women and men. Like you hear him talk about like racism. You so many things that he yeah. wants to accomplish. Like Jen Sincero, she wrote, you're a badass. And she wrote, you're a badass at making money. Her whole thing was like, she did not want to have that like cheesy picture of her online promoting her program, but she believed that her program would help people. She knew that the system worked because she was following other entrepreneurs. And so she finally just broke down and said, okay, like this doesn't define who I am, but it is going to help me reach my goal of helping others and helping her get to where she wanted. Now she's multimillionaire. Helps yeah. a lot of people make a lot of money, but it's right. because she was willing to post a cheesy photo of herself saying, buy my program. It'll, it'll change your life. Right, yeah. right. You have to step out of your comfort zone, especially if you're influencing other people to step out of their comfort zones. Yeah. Right? Like if you're influencing people to get like, you know, 10 different ways to have passive income so that yeah. they don't have to be at their job, like they're going to have to take time away from their family, time away from sleep, time away from their job. Yeah. Like what I do right now is I took a job that makes one third what I made before so that I can do stuff like this. Yeah. Like, because you have to make sacrifices. So I think does that make sense. He thinks too highly of himself. Like I think he needs to get a little bit more humble. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't know, but what happened? Maybe is, drop your merch off a little less. The merch, like calm down. It, it was funny to me at first in all the vlogs, <laughs> it was funny. And then now it's like not funny. I'm kind of like- it Says a lot. I'm like, is this all you really care about? Cause like, I know you're building a movement, but yeah. like- The problem is what happens is he, he says it, a 15 year old goes out and buys a sweater and he sees the money in his account go up. So then the next day he says it twice and he sees the money in his account go up again. So it's like, it's feeding the problem. <laughs> Do you follow Shay Carl? Nope. Okay. No. So I'm going to Shay... start following all of these people she mentioned. Yeah. Shay Carl with the Shay Tards. Um, you guys, if you're YouTube, if you have loved YouTube for a while, you know, Shay Carl, you know, the Shay Tards. I started watching the Shay Tards like legitimately eight years ago. They are such a fun family, such a great family. I was just obsessed with, they, they have like five kids. Hmm. Um, Shay Carl, um, about eight months ago, accidentally, like he was drunk, he's had a problem with alcoholism. He got super drunk. He texted back and forth, like DM'd with this like kind of slutty girl, like really nasty stuff. And then she like screenshotted it and like posted it everywhere. And yeah. His reputation just went to crap. They took a year off of the internet and he just started posting vlogs like two days ago for the first time in eight months. I would have said my account was hacked. I'm just saying. Yeah, but like when you've seen, <laughs> he's awful. posted a thousand vlogs. Yeah. Like this guy is, everyone loves, he's like 5 million followers, which is a lot. Like yeah. Logan Paul makes followers look like nothing. Yeah, no, 5 million lot. followers is a lot of people that know. And he's like an original, like he's, he sold his company maker media for like 500 million. Like this guy started on YouTube and he, he's grown from that. And I remember watching Shay Carl move from their crappy house to a little bit nicer house. 
every year yeah. to a little bit nicer house, six months later to a little bit nicer house, to like mansion nice house. Yeah. And you're just kind of like, you don't know what they're doing at yeah. all. And then all of a sudden you're like, this is their career. Like he's doing stuff behind the scenes, but like he's vlogging every day. His, his kids, his family. I mean, I watched his wife give birth. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. in the room, watching his wife. That's, that's crazy. literally how much they vlogged. And, but then like seeing him, like the demise of him and like how that happened to him. Like I will, I started bawling last night. No joke, watching his first vlog. Wow. Like I started crying. I haven't like cried like that. And like, because you just, you, you feel like you know somebody. Yeah. But with Logan, after watching some background and watching him in interviews, like he's not the same person in them. Like he, he sell, he's a salesman. Like he sells himself and his merch and all that stuff in his, his vlogs. Yeah. But like when he's in an interview, I feel like number one, he's a little uncomfortable. Like he's overcompensating for something. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like he'll like put his leg up on the chair and like act like, and I'm just kind of like, Trying there's this thing called up. respect. Like yeah. just be respectful of like this this guy in Dubai who's like giving you this opportunity. Like I get it that he's a bro, but like have some respect. Hard. No, I'm not trying to slam Logan Paul. Like I, I would like freaking date the guy. Like actually, Trevor, I don't know. are you watching this? Trevor doesn't watch my vlogs. Oh my gosh. Trevor doesn't watch any of my shit. Um, he's very attractive. His success is also attractive. Yeah. How he got to be successful is attractive, which I swear is why, how I get obsessed with people. Yeah. I don't even care about what they do. I care about like, how did this person captivate a million people? Yeah. Or 15 million. Do you or know what I'm saying? Probably right now it's like 16 million. When they're, when they're yeah, watching while we're 17 sleeping, million. Like, oh, I just went up 500,000. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And thank you so much to Alex, our all-star. Like and subscribe. <laughs> To Alex? Yeah, just Are to me in general. Are you plugging your channel on my channel? Yeah.